the parents are constantly educating the child at home and the teacher is educating the child at school and if the child's tendencies remain as they were at the time of birth or get even worse then what does it show that the child's education is failing that the ones who are teaching the child are not doing justice to their work as teachers so is the problem with the child or the teachers of the child should we look at the condition of the taught or the teacher the taught one is hardly responsible for himself for he is born disorderly the question is what have the teachers then been doing so the question then turns to the questioner to the mother what kind of education is reaching the child what are you teaching him and the child is learning not only through your words but through your conduct and your total being the child is absorbing everything what is it that you are displaying to the child every day and even if the teachers at the school are feeling who chose those teachers and that school for the child the mother did and the father did so the mother and the father have to answer what kind of teachers are they but then before the teacher can be of value to the taught first of all the teacher must be self illumined is the teacher self illumined is the mother really a realized one and if mother is not someone who understands if the mother is herself caught in tangles then how is the child going to grow beyond the disorder the disorder is innate the disorder is biological the question is why have the bringers of order failed because this order that must be brought to the child is not a commodity it is not a thing it is something that must radiate from your being you cannot hold it in your hand and hand over to somebody okay. 
it is a contagious thing you must have it to give it to the other to help the other candle be lighted first of all the helping candle must have some light the child will not be born enlightened that's not how prakriti operates light has to touch him he carries light within like a candle but the light within will gain expression only upon right association the child must be touched by someone who is full of light does the child have that company and if the child doesn't have that company should we blame the child so you know pari where the problem is and therefore where the remedy is it is impossible for learned parents to be poor parents and when i say learned i do not mean learned in terms of being knowledgeable or scholarly i mean wisdom i mean realization i mean love your wisdom your love is the necessary teacher you must first of all awaken your own wisdom you must first of all call forth your own love and then the child will surely respond the child then is a reflection of who the parent is the growth of the child then is a barometer of the growth of parents the state of the child then is a litmus test on the state of the parents and the teachers it's wonderful that children are unable to conceal their disorderly instincts they are unable to wheel their diseased state of mind 